Hi, I'm going to show you really quickly how to calculate the perimeter of a shape so that you should be able to have a go at doing this on your own. The perimeter of a shape, which we haven't really discussed yet, is the outside. So I would say think about Jurassic Park and the fence that goes all the way around the outside to keep the dinosaurs in. That's the perimeter, it's the outside part. So on these shapes, we have the outside bit here. So this is the outside, which goes around the shape. That's the perimeter. Again, this shape here, you've got the perimeter, which goes around the outside. And we've got a final shape here, the perimeter around the outside. The inside of the shape is called the area. So everything on the inside makes the area of the shape, but that's something for a different day. At the moment, we're just focusing on the perimeter. With shapes like this, then we have squares. This tells us that each square is one centimeter long. So to work out the perimeter, I'm gonna go around and count the squares around there. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So in total, there are fourteen sides here, each one a centimeter. So we can say that that is fourteen centimeters for the perimeter. The perimeter of this shape. Let's give that a letter. We'll call that A. So A equals 14 centimetres for the perimeter. We'll do B, we'll go around again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So B, the perimeter is, oh, I forgot what it was, four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, exactly the same. Funny coincidence and C. We can start anywhere, but don't forget that this one goes inside as well. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, don't forget that one, twelve. So this time, C, the perimeter is twelve centimeters. And that is a really easy way of doing perimeter. Eventually, we'll have labels on this, so it'd say things like this bit here. It's three centimetres, so we won't need to count all the squares because they won't be there. But if we know this is three centimetres, and up here is four centimetres, we can say, well, that's three, add four, add another three, and add another four. And that's a different way of working out perimeter when you don't have the squares. But for today, it's just squares. So, this is the sheet that I have for you. So have a go at this. Work your way around the perimeter, counting those squares to find out what the perimeter is for A and B. Work out A, B, C. And then these ones, exactly the same, but don't be tricked by this. Even though it's right next to the edge, that is still a piece. So there you go. Have a go at working out the perimeter of these shapes.